citizenship practice exams. Subject, Canadian Government. Module, Canadian Justice System. Chapter, Set 1. How does a bill become a law? A. The Lieutenant Governor must approve the bill. B. Approval by a majority in the House of Commons and Senate and finally the Governor General. C. The Queen must sign the bill. D. Approval by the members of the Legislative Assembly. The answer is, B. Approval by a majority in the House of Commons and Senate and finally the Governor General. In Canada, are you allowed to question the police about their service or conduct? A. No. Police service and conduct is not open to discussion with Canadians. B. Yes, you can question their service but not their conduct. C. Yes, you can question their conduct but not their service. D. Yes, if you feel the need to. The answer is, D. Yes, if you feel the need to. In Canada's justice system what does presumption of innocence mean? A. Everyone is guilty until proven innocent. B. Guilt is decided by public opinion. C. Innocence is decided by public opinion. D. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. The answer is, D. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. What do you call a law before it is passed? A. A new law. B. A proposed law. C. A bill. D. A new proposal. The answer is, C. A bill. What does the right to a secret ballot mean? A. No one should tell you where to vote. B. A secret vote used by politicians when they are voting on sensitive topics. C. No one can watch your vote and no one should look at how you voted. D. Your right to vote in secret on who to appoint to the Senate. The answer is, C. No one can watch your vote and no one should look at how you voted. What is the highest court in Canada? A. The Queen's Court. B. The Senate Court of Canada. C. The Supreme Court of Canada. D. The Crown Court of Canada. The answer is, C. The Supreme Court of Canada. Which party becomes the official opposition? A. The party with the second most MPs. B. The party receiving the least votes. C. Any independent candidate. D. The party the Prime Minister selects. The answer is, A, the party with the second most MPs. Who has the right to run as a candidate in federal elections? A, anyone. B, a Canadian citizen who is 16 years old. C, any man who is at least 18 years old. D, any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. The answer is, D, any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. What is the role of the courts in Canada? A. To enforce the law. B. To guide people in our society. C. To settle disputes. D. To express values and beliefs of Canadians. The answer is, C. To settle disputes. Name six responsibilities of citizenship A. Getting a job, making money, raising a family, paying taxes, mowing your lawn, voting in provincial elections. B. Voting in municipal elections only. Joining a political party, getting a job, obeying the law, driving safely, picking up litter. C. Caring for the environment, not littering, paying taxes, obeying the law, helping others, respecting others. D. Obeying the law, taking responsibility for oneself and one's family, helping others in the community, voting in elections, serving on a jury, protecting and enjoying our heritage and environment. The answer is, D. Obeying the law. Taking responsibility for oneself and one's family, helping others in the community, voting in elections, serving on a jury, protecting and enjoying our heritage and environment. What are three responsibilities of citizenship A being loyal to Canada, recycling newspapers, serving in the Navy, Army or Air Force? B obeying the law, taking responsibility for oneself and one's family, serving on a jury. C learning both official languages, voting in elections, belonging to a union. D. Buying Canadian products, owning your own business, using less water. The answer is, B. Obeying the law, taking responsibility for oneself and one's family, serving on a jury. In which of these situations can you turn to the police for help? A. If you have witnessed a crime. B. If someone is missing. C. 
If there's been an accident, D all of them. The answer is, D all of them. The highest court in Canada is what? A. The Supreme Court. B. The Queen's Bench. C. The Federal Court. D. The Provincial Supreme Court. The answer is, A. The Supreme Court. If you can't afford to pay for a lawyer when you are charged with a crime, A. You will be provided with one. B. You will be found guilty. C. You will have to borrow the money. D. You must represent yourself. The answer is, A. You will be provided with one. The purpose of Canadian law is to do what? A. Give order to society. B. To express Canadian values and beliefs. C. Help settle disputes. D. All these things. The answer is, D. All these things. The basis of the Canadian justice system is what? A. The presumption of guilt. B. The presumption of innocence. C. The burden of proof. D. The balance of probabilities. The answer is, B. The presumption of innocence. The Canadian government must respect every citizen's legal rights. A. Except in emergencies. B. Unless they admit guilt. C. At all times. D. When convenient. The answer is, C. At all times. Who makes the laws in Canada? A. The courts. B. The sovereign. C. The legislature. D. The police. The answer is, C. The legislature. Who are the federal police in Canada? A. The RCMP. B. The Canadian Army. C. The Canadian Rangers. D. Cheese. The answer is, A. The RCMP. Small claims courts deal with what? A. Divorces. B. Traffic offenses. C. Civil cases. D. Minor crime. The answer is, C. Civil cases. Whose role is it to settle disagreements or conflicts? A. The municipalities. B. The police forces. C. The courts. D. The city governments. The answer is, C. The courts. Whose job is it to enforce the laws of Canada? A. Police. B. Judge. C. MP. D. Court. The answer is, A. Police. Canadian law applies to everyone, except A. Police officers. B. Judges. C. There are no exceptions. D. Members of Parliament. The answer is, C. There are no exceptions. Which provinces have their own police forces? A. Alberta and Nova Scotia. B. Ontario and Quebec. C. Prince Edward Island and Saskatchewan. D. British Columbia and Manitoba. The answer is, B. Ontario and Quebec. What are the laws passed by municipal governments that only affect the local community? A. Provincial laws. B. Town laws. C. Bylaws. D. Regional laws. The answer is, C. Bylaws. Who has the right to demand that you tell them how you voted in an election? A. The Sovereign. B. Nobody. C. Your MP. D. The Prime Minister. The answer is, B. Nobody. Which legal documents protect Canadians' official languages? A. Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. B. Canadian Constitution and Official Languages Act. C. Official Language Act. D. Canada's Constitution. The answer is, B. Canadian Constitution and Official Languages Act. The Constitution of Canada was amended in 1982 to entrench the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, including the official language rights and minority language education rights, which ensures the French and English have equal status in Parliament and throughout the government. Which industry did most early European settles work in? A. Forestry. B. Fishing. C. Farming. D. Fur trading. The answer is, D. Fur trading. The French and Aboriginal people collaborated in the vast fur trade economy, driven by the demand for beaver pelts in Europe. 
What do we celebrate on Canada's Day? A. Multiculturalism. B. Queen's Birthday. C. Freedom of Speech. D. Anniversary of Confederation. The answer is, D. Anniversary of Confederation. A federal statutory holiday, Canada Day celebrates the anniversary of the July 1, 1867, enactment of the Constitution Act, 1867, which united the three separate colonies of the Canada. What document legalized Confederation? A. The Confederation Act. B. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms. C. The British North America Act. D. The North America Confederation Act. The answer is, C. The British North America Act. The British North America Act, 1867 legalized confederation.